So welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronalyn Naipo. It's an overcast but sunny day here in Hilo, Hawaii. I decided to go ahead and wear, I'm actually stopped at the red stop sign. So I'm able to go ahead and talk to you at the intersection, wearing my shell necklace and then my uh, pearl drop earrings that I actually got from my mom before she passed away. So I thought I'd go ahead and wear that. I like to wear some type of jewelry that my mom gives me in most of my videos whether it's an earring sometimes it's a ring like uh this one right here um is actually from my mom so i'm actually wearing that today but we're actually on a straight away so i wanted to tag you folks along with me go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you're up to today what did you go ahead and accomplish i'm still doing my 52 weeks of daily habits so i tend to go ahead and do that um once a week is a journal that Jim actually got me from, I think, when we were up in Georgia. He got me that book and it was another book, which it was things that you're happy for. And I go ahead and just do two of those. So what I also like to go ahead and do is do my daily devotions as soon as I wake up in the morning, as well as do my happiness journal. Find five things that I'm actually grateful for and that I'm happy about and follow through throughout the whole day with that. And then at night before you go to bed, you go ahead and do a recap and come up with five more additional things for the following day. So we're stuck here at another intersection. I'll go ahead and show you. Um, let's see, my Calvin Klein's. Let me go ahead and get them on. He's actually for a while. Our peel. Calvin Klein. So I'll go ahead and put that back here at the bottom go ahead and match my white with my uh burgundy top i actually think i found this on amazon which is actually really comfortable it's actually long it's tapered here actually at the top so it has like a frilly portion that goes uh right past your bust line and then it tapers off to an a line and then there's a small um, slit on the right hand side so if you want to go ahead and uh, dress it up you can go ahead and do that for the holidays or go ahead and dress it down if you're gonna go like to a beach party I probably wouldn't be wearing this probably just maybe some shell earrings when my uh, family members go ahead and invite me over for a beach party but yeah I like this color I think it's a very um, complimentary color against my skin complexion I've been getting a little bit more tan, but also using my SPF when I'm out in the garden and keeping myself very, very busy. So the first thing I need to go ahead and do is stop off and do some banking. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. I always like to go ahead and keep these videos um, not too long because I know that everybody's pretty much uh, pressed for time. So majority of my car vlogs will probably be hopefully under 10 minutes by the time I go ahead and edit whenever I'm running errands if I'm going down to actually do my nails that's probably ooh, like a 50 minute drive depending if it if I catch like the afternoon traffic like at four o'clock then I'll get stuck in afternoon traffic but right now it's 12 55 I might be catching some maybe lunchtime traffic for a lot of people that are running their errands during lunch but we're gonna take a left right y'all head on down i hope the road is not too bumpy i bought a new suction cup actually here for my phone but it's still a little bumpy so i apologize for that Ooh, i got a nice view today ocean view i get to see the breakwater actually coming down when i'm coming down this particular road on um not Puanaco, uh, Punahele. I'm able to actually see the ocean. Yeah, we got a church right there. Need to slow down right here. It's the speed limit of 25. So we always wanna make sure that we're following the rules when we are actually traveling. Um, I'm probably gonna be going through the drive-through when I do that. So if there's a line backed up, I'll go ahead and uh, show you uh, some other stuff that I actually have in the car that actually came in the mail. So let's see. Ooh, the line is kind of long today. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the drive-through. That way I can go ahead and chatter with you guys. Okay making sure I got my deposit with my deposit slip. 
this is a nice way of kind of spend more time with you guys. Beginning of the year, when Jim actually got me the journal, I wanted to make sure that I have an allotment when my direct deposit actually comes in. So my car payment actually comes out from there and that's for the Nissan for this one here that I got last year. And then I put $50 on the side for my Christmas savings. And a lot of you always ask me what kind of makeup budget that I actually have. When I first started YouTube, this girl was going kind of crazy. I don't know everybody normally does to get that addiction and they feel like they need to go ahead and buy a lot of makeup in order to go ahead and share on YouTube. And I did the same thing and I ended up just decluttering a whole bunch of makeup last year. I gave some to Jim's daughter. Um, she likes her neutrals and lip glosses when she's going to work because she works actually in a food service and she also goes to UH Hilo here and then li lives at home with us. And then my daughter-in-law, I have two. Um, one is a little bit more conservative. Um, she really hasn't asked for a lot of makeup and then my other daughter-in-law loves makeup. Uh, so what I'll do is, I think like last year, I cleaned out all of my liquid lipsticks. I basically just kept maybe my Anastasia Beverly Hills and some of my, um, I think it was Milani Metallic creams yeah i kept um just a few of those and the rest of my liquid lipsticks i figured before they end up drying out since she likes her liquid lipsticks i probably gave her like 50 liquid lipsticks i mean she was thrilled that i go ahead and declutter in fact every three months i try to make it a point where i'm decluttering items that i'm not going to end up using so i actually found these clear trays that'll actually hold Two eyeshadow, pal two eyeshadow palettes. Of course, the mascara, I just end up transferring um, from basket to basket because I like to uh, toss out my mascara every two, three months. And then I'll put maybe four lipsticks, two blushes, maybe two highlighters. I'll put whatever brushes I want to go ahead and use. And I have three baskets and I need to get another basket because I, I, I want to make it four where every week I'm using uh, one particular basket. So I'm actually rotating all of my makeup. And then I have a separate tall drawer that I have all my eyeshadow palettes, blushes, powders, bronzers, um, uh, lipsticks. I go ahead and sort it like on one of those turning rotisseries. I know everybody's been asking me to go ahead and do a declutter on some of my lipsticks. But if I do that, the first thing I need to go ahead and do, which I already did on some of my lipsticks. So actually I downsized from like having 300 lipsticks and I mean that includes that at that time that included liquid lipsticks and maybe lip glosses or lip stains or lip balms and stuff so I kind of downsized so, so maybe now I'm down to like about a hundred now what I need to do is sort it out probably by color so I'm probably gonna put neutrals in one berries in another one plums and then there are some purples that I haven't really been gravitating to unless like I'm wearing like a nice purple top or if I'm wearing something uh, black but maybe with, with a purple scarf I'll go ahead and um, play with that plus I like to keep some of my cream based lipsticks that is very moisturizing and use it actually as a blush after I go ahead and apply my foundation so I'll go ahead and keep some of those and actually use it as a cream blush I don't believe in buying cream blushes I think you're for me sorry about that for me i think by using some of your lipsticks that you're not actually using and using it as a blush topper i can go ahead and do that i'm actually today i'm using minimal makeup my lipstick is actually from tart cosmetics i can't remember the color it's those uh, lip sculptors where there's lipstick on one end and lip gloss on the other and i kind of like that because sometimes i just want the gloss in fact i think i have the smaller version in my bag since we got a long line it's the bigger version of these now these came like in a holiday set and then when tart had their sale i went ahead and picked up like three sets for some of my girlfriends so when i get invited to like a bridal shower or baby shower i'll go ahead and give that actually as a gift to the mom so let's go ahead and i think we'll put this other shora chow uh these sunglasses are actually from where are these glasses from these are actually from sunglass spot and let's see went to the post office 
got a few more boxes in. I opened up the bigger boxes actually here on the floor. And this one is actually from Nordstrom's right there. These are actually from their BP line, their sunglasses. So let me go ahead and open up a few and I'll be right back. Hang on, because I don't want you folks just watching me open up boxes. Hang on. Okie dokie. So we got all the boxes opened and it was three. I'm going to put my car in park and I'm talking too much. So let me go ahead and take up this one. And the BP line on Nordstrom's is really affordable. This one is rose gold on the side. And this one would actually match what I'm actually wearing today. Round. I want to say it's more like a dark black with uh, maybe a little bit of a uh, purple gradient in there. Let's see. Big vine. I'm going to put my fix the necklace. So that was the first one that came in. I put that on the side. Here's the other one, because there were actually four boxes. This one is like a neutral color. I like that because it's like a flesh tone on the side, similar to the other one, but then almost like the same color. In fact, it will probably match what I like today. I'm probably going to see if they have like two more because I love that flesh tone color. Let me go ahead and pull up because everybody's moving in the dry through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Now this one is a rose rose gold in fact this one still got the sticker on it so there we go pure rose gold love that one there we go i would love to wear that one probably to the beach or when i get invited to my cousin's beach party and stuff like that i'm looking for something that's rose gold and this is another one again neutral color there on the side and put that one on i kind of like that one sounds pretty nice so i wanted to go ahead and share those with you it's a very affordable site that um i think i was watching somebody's haul from nordstrom's and then from this line i i probably have bought maybe five to six glasses from their line now they not only have that but they have scarves and some other things so i'm going to be listing the link for the bp line from nordstrom's and those are very affordable actually they're slightly more expensive than sunglass spot the sunglass spot glasses actually run anywhere from five dollars maybe up to nineteen dollars and then the bp line if you can get it on sale it'd be great it probably runs between 12 and 14 dollars but you know why not go with affordable i've always had the teenagers that is using my cars and I have three, four sunglasses, so if they accidentally sit on it, not that I leave my glasses on the seat, but if they accidentally sit on it, then I don't feel very bad. So, the drive through is actually moving, and um, I'm probably going to be the next one. Ooh. So, what I wanted to do was go ahead and share that with you. I'm going to be going through my drive through and making my deposit, and then heading on down to go ahead and meet a girlfriend. So my name is Vondalyn Naipo. I hope that everyone is having a great and productive day. I will see you guys in my next video. Aloha. Bye-bye.